All right, today, two female comedians that you need to know. The duo is introducing a whole new arc and character to sketch comedy. Joining us now are comedians and co-creators of Trash Panda, Marissa Chastain and Fee Basanivish. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for having us. So, congratulations on the World Comedy Expo. How did you guys get selected? Uh, well, uh, Marissa just submitted Trash Panda, <laughs> and she was like, we, by the way, also do Bye Bye Liver, and they were like, we will take both, please. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was very exciting. Yeah, a lot of good talent, too, that was there. It's just, it's just an honor yeah. to be a part of it. Yeah, we got a chance to perform after Lemon Pepper Wet and The Roommates. That was great. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking a little bit in the break. Really, female comedians have, have recently kind of gaining steam. Is it is it just because the world has changed a little bit more and people are now, you're not dragging your husband to the, to the show to see a female comedy. Comic. You're just going to see comedians. Yes. yes. Such a different definition. Yes. It is. It is. Um, honestly, I, I think just progress, you know, mm -hmm. that's just the, the way the world's turning and it's 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 our turn. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah. long overdue. It's too, a right? lot yeah. nicer. Yeah, we have a lot more flexibility of being kind of gross and loud and absurd, <laughs> and we mm -hmm. don't always have to just play like a housewife or talk about those issues. It's more opened up and more accepting now, yeah. Yeah. which Instead is just amazing. Being the girlfriend in a sketch. Yeah. Right. Or like, yeah, the woman in a sketch. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Okay, mm -hmm. so bye. Bye, liver. Can you like <laughs> describe this to me? I think yes. I have an idea. Yes. Yes. It is a such a fun um, Chicago drinking sketch show um, where we go between like sketches and then we have really fun drinking games like um, ones called neighborhoods where we give all the neighborhoods here in Chicago a, a dating profile. Okay. Oh, and then yes. we read it on out and you have to guess what neighborhood am I? That's um, amazing. And then like you get it right, the audience drinks, so you get it wrong, you drink. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also have a sketch that promotes sobriety. Mm -hmm. We offer three really good non-alcoholic drinks because we mm -hmm. want to also give space for that. So you don't have mm -hmm. to drink in order to have fun to come to Bye Bye Liver. Yeah. But if you want to drink, it is set up for you and yeah. you can get as buzzed as you want to be, yeah. uh, which is nice. It's good for bachelorette parties, oh, that sounds like birthdays, things like yeah. that. Yeah. Your, your shows look very energetic. Are you guys exhausted <laughs> afterwards? Yeah. 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 Yes. That's how we know we did a good show. Like when we did our run at the Annoyance with our two women show afterwards because it ends with us chasing each other around and just uh, sweating and gasping Sweat. and then we just embrace each other like that was a good show. Yeah, so, yeah we can barely say the last lines yeah. and that's to me is my favorite part is where we're making eye contact with each other mm -hmm. and it's like she's saying her line and I'm like Ooh. and I'm taking an apple <laughs> book and then I say my line as much as I can and then all of a sudden she does it and we're looking at each other and we're like we're both there oh, and we know the sweat is just Pouring. dripping off of our bodies. I have like a fast quick change in <laughs> it, it that I think we're surprised at every night when it's just like, oh my God, I did it. We made it. It happened. Sure. You yeah. know? <laughs> and that's what, how we kind of crafted our two woman show too was what do we want to see? What makes us laugh? Mm -hmm. What puts us right there at the edge where we wonder, are we going to be successful here or not? And right. that's like that fun line that we really like to play with. I yeah, like that. We love yeah. You're comedy. talking about looking at each other in the eyes oh. and being that in sync. It sounds, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sounds yeah. like, I mean, you each came to comedy in your own way, but yeah. now it's like really a friendship that's, oh, you know, yeah. at the base of this. She's the key to my peel. Oh, yeah, Laverne's my Shirley. We we yeah. definitely have the exact same type of humor, which helps. And I think we process our own like trauma with life by laughing and by making bits out of it and doing comedy. It's just the way that we do it. So after the like through the whole pandemic, when that was like a, a pretty traumatic experience yeah. for artists in the city, we just kept creating. Yeah. And and we kept you know making other people laugh. And when we make other people laugh, we just felt so much more fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We even got, we won first place in a, um, a film festival. Oh, yeah. 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 We remade Ferris Bueller <laughs> into five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. We said could have done it in five. Yeah. Uh, and we played all the, like pretty much a lot of the characters yeah. and um, went all around the city and then submitted it and we actually got first place. That's and it, amazing. It played in like 35 different theaters. So it was just like weird that during the pandemic when we weren't doing anything, we just kept creating art and art and yeah. art. And, and whenever I would write sketches, that's when I like excelled with like really my sketch writing and so I would, good. my new goal was like, all right, I'm not going to try to make an audience laugh. I just need to make Marissa laugh. <laughs> I think you know you're good. Yeah, once, I, once that happens, then we, we, we found, know it. We found the goal. Yeah, yeah, when we're laughing, crying, and there's moments where we'll finish each other's sentence, it's just like, oh, and then, and then, yeah, 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 ye
All right, so tell us about Trash Panda then. Ah, uh, love it. It, it yeah. essentially started because again, the pandemic was so sad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was teaching yoga and doing comedy, and I knew I needed to get out of my PJs and at least do something. <laughs> and it was so hard because depression kind of hit. Mm -hmm. And um, I had my parents bought me this like panda bear onesie <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> Never really wore it, but I thought I can get out of my PJs and I can put that panda suit on. And it just became such a funny little thing mm -hmm. of wearing it around. And then we just started making little videos and I felt like I was eating a lot of junk food and I felt like trash and I just kept calling myself like a little trash panda. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just essentially kind of called it that. And, yeah. and it was neat to see like my roommates too, like when I come on out and I'd be in the panda suit and they'd be like, Ah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's like, let's find the laughter yeah, right. here, and then it just kind of became our. It our, snowballed. It snowballed from that. Yeah. Trash panda. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's uh, you guys look awesome. I was watching yeah. all the trailers. Looks really funny. Thank, Thank you, you so much mm -hmm. for joining us. Yeah. Uh, you can catch them at the Newport Theater every Friday at 7 p.m. Check out their social media handles for more information as well. Ladies, thank you. I know. Thank you. Thank you. It's so like much. talking to one person, yeah. not to a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs>